Imagine a world teeming with wonders of all sorts. A serene natural beauty where the ocean is of an infinite translucent blue, cushioning jewels of all shapes and colors, fringed by white sandy beaches where a soft breeze comforts those fortunate to live a life in paradise. A world where a mind-boggling flora was allowed to develop undisturbed, producing species found nowhere else on this planet. A world where myriad creatures determined their own ancestry just the way they pleased, thus creating specimens that are truly original and astounding. A world where all races of the Earth live together in peace and harmony, regardless of their ethnic origins or beliefs. But also imagine bulldozers, concrete mixers, chainsaws and people with big business ideas invading this world of harmony and unrelenting beauty. Impossible, we might think, outrageous, even out of this world. However, serious understanding, careful planning and a profound desire to create something outstanding without disturbing a delicate 45 million year old environment which has seen human involvement only for the past 300 years or so rendered the impossible possible. This is how Ephelia Resort was born. Managed by the Constance Hotel's experience, Ephelia Resort replaces the remnants of an abandoned site that once housed hundreds of youngsters who underwent their basic education in youth camp style. Today, the resort nestles in a lush, tropical environment as if there had never been another way. Cocooned by an extraordinary tropical fauna and granite boulders millions of years old, its villas overlook a bay of a beauty hard to match. Polonais, en mahe, Seychelles, main island. Naturally protected from harsh winds and destructive sea swells, Polonais and the adjacent village of Porglo developed silently and undisturbed. Situated on the fringe of the Mourne Seychellois National Park and one of Seychelles' best developed and best preserved mangrove forests, this region is home to an amazing variety of flora and fauna. Tropical mist forests high up in the mountains create an atmosphere not unlike that found at the very beginning of our world. They harbor shrubs, mosses and ferns which mostly grow on tree trunks and in rock crevasses and right here one may also find one of the rarest plants on earth, the jellyfish tree. These mountains are mostly cloud swept, but on a clear day the views are spectacular. A little further down is the world of Seychelles endemic palms, which are protected now, but have been used by settlers, each one of them in its own special way. Apart from delivering building materials for roofs, walls and floors, the most spectacular one is the palmiste, whose heart was used for the preparation of the millionaire's salad, so-called because each salad costs the life of a tree. Here is also the habitat of the omnipresent cinnamon, the jackfruit tree whose enormous fruits grow straight out of the trunk, the pandanus, a tree on stilts, and as a surprise, the pitcher plant, a carnivorous creeper that consumes all sorts of insects on a regular basis. In this abundant green world shelters a very discreet fauna, with the exception of course of the noisy Seychelles bulbul. Difficult to spot are leaf and stick insects. More obvious is the endemic black snail that even dances when touched. The tiger chameleon, perfectly camouflaged, reminds us of times long gone. This humid habitat is also the world of the green tree frog. Needless to say, they're all endemic to the Seychelles. In the fallen foliage, there seems to be a constant rustle where skinks and geckos have their say. Geckos are mosquito eaters and need to be protected. At night, the tenrec, once imported for food from the Mascarene Islands, is on the prowl. This region is the birthplace of rivers and streams which develop at times into ponds and spectacular waterfalls from where they continue their winding paths to a new destination, the mangrove swamps. The real champions of the lowlands in our area are the mangroves, or mongliye as the locals call them. They're mostly small trees that live in brackish tidal waters. 
At low tide, when the bottom is nearly dry, one can see their roots sticking out of the mud in order to catch a fresh breath of oxygen. There are seven species of mangroves here, and some boast an array of beautiful flowers. Others grow elongated, spear-like seeds that are designed in such a way that, when ready, drop down, stick in the mud, and grow roots right then and there. The most popular mangrove, though, is known as the Chinese puzzle, or manglier pom. Its seeds are arranged in such a clever way that rearranging them has developed into a popular game amongst the locals. Mangrove forests play an extremely important role within the biodiversity of a tropical island. They form a buffer zone between sea and land, protect the shore from erosion and create habitat for numerous marine fauna. Most peculiar and entertaining are the fiddler crabs with their determined and colorful wave. Migratory birds find a temporary home here, and for herons, these swamps are heaven. As a tradition of the Seychelles, the people of Porglo and Polony have always used the mangrove swamps, be it for fishing, as a waterway, or to collect raw materials for the manufacture of household utensils, of which the latter is less common now. The Bay of Polony, only a stone's throw away, is a dedicated marine park of a special kind. From the main beach, the sea bottom slopes away gently, and the sides of the bay are flanked by granite boulders amongst rich tropical vegetation, watching over the fringes of a coral reef teeming with life. Corals are the builders of these reefs. They provide home and shelter for small fishes and crabs, and sometimes a block of coral is a world all of its own. Coral polyps are also suppliers of welcome food for the colorful parrotfish and their bigger brothers too. Seaweed are plants that grow in the sea. They don't flower but are a welcome hiding place and a source of food for many marine species. And observed in the right light, they're pretty too. A little further out, the granite landscape takes over, transforming the underwater scenery into valleys, caves and cathedrals, home for snappers, groupers, lionfish and many other passers-by. These two have struck up an unusual friendship. The Ophelia Resort is situated right in the middle of this world of exceptional natural beauty and precious biodiversity. With the Mont Seychellois Nature Reserve, the mangrove swamps and the Polonais Marine Park right at its doorstep, the resort has fulfilled the requirements given by the Seychelles government prior to the construction of the resort in order not only to protect the environment and biodiversity of the area, but also to enhance it, make it better and safer for everything that lives in it. Everything planted here originates in the area. No species alien to the region's fauna or flora have been imported. The resort makes its own compost and recycles wastewater to be used in the gardens. On a regular basis, Ophelia Resort organizes a number of environmental activities where guests and members of the local community participate eagerly. One such is the Green Day. The Green Day is an Ophelia, um, is an Ophelia initiative in order to help protect and preserve the environment. Um, the activity consists of uh, cleaning the mangroves, removing non-degradable materials such as plastic bottles, etc which are carried by the tides. In that the same line, uh, we do restoration of the mangroves, transplanting seedlings in areas that are either dead or not growing that, that fast. Um, it's a monthly activity, involves both uh, the staff 
and uh, sometimes the community as well join into this activity. On the same note, in terms of uh, environmental protection, we've got the coastal management, um, rehabilitation of the coast. Coastline protection by planting trees and bushes prevents erosion. Educational workshops help the local community to understand the role Ephelia Resort plays as a protector of the biodiversity and they encourage the people of Borglo to participate in environmental activities. Not only the way the resort has been planned, but also the way it is being run demonstrates a regular consciousness of its obviously delicate surroundings. Informative and educational signboards have been put up and encouraging printed material is made available to guests in order to create awareness of the unique natural treasures surrounding the resort. The resort boasts its own nature trails, a comprehensive water sports center which adheres to a strict no jet ski and no motor powered water sports policy and a number of modern bicycles. Guests may jog along the resort's own jogging trail, go on organized hikes on mountain trails, or enjoy walks through the mangrove forests during low tide where knowledgeable guides accompany them. For those who want a real feel of the world's oldest granite, we recommend our climbing wall where guests may enjoy more of the natural environment in a safe and adventurous experience. I went where there is a blue bridge. Around high tide, the calm waters of the mangrove swamps invite kayakers for a relaxed trip and the clear turquoise sea right in front of the resort opens up a world of marine activities such as diving, snorkeling, paddling or sailing. The Seychelles Islands are well known for their enthusiasm when it comes to the protection of their precious environment and the maintenance of the significance of the island's biodiversity. Economic development, whilst conserving nature, has never been an easy task. It is a near impossible balancing act between a profitable tourism industry, on which a nation is mostly dependent, and the conservation of an inherited natural beauty with an astounding biodiversity, without which the former would not be possible. The Ophelia Resort Seychelles is one of those examples where this balance has been amply achieved.